Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls, right here in Amsterdam. Ashley Blankenship with In Broadcast. Joining me is Friedemann of Unar Audio. Hello. Hello, thank you very much for having me. Yes, thank you. So can you tell me what's your company's position right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Right, so uh, Unar Audio has been a, one of the leading real-time audio processing companies uh, in the past and uh, still is. So with a more traditional market based on hardware, we are now moving to a software-defined environments and software-defined processing. So. Flex AI is our newest uh, application where we do all the things that we were traditionally known for uh, in a software-defined system which can be run on hardware, which can run on virtualized environments, and which can also be put into the cloud and be used as a software-as-a-service system. So that's uh, what we are currently doing. The customer is deciding on whether they want to use their own hardware, whether they want to have hardware provided by us, or whether they rely entirely on systems that are provided by cloud providers. So it's an extremely flexible system, and we can reach a much broader market with this than in the past where we just put devices in racks. And so what trends are you noticing as far as technology currently in the media and broadcasting market? Right. So we see a at least partial shift to cloud-based services currently. So many of our customers want to have their on-premise uh, processing resources for their day-to-day -day operation and just add additional resources on top which they then just uh, use from cloud, cloud service providers. So this is a, a hybrid approach that we see becoming much uh, or very, very popular uh, currently in the market, but also some customers that really want to migrate to entirely being cloud-based, and we of course support these customers also with partnerships that we are entering with uh, service providers that really enable and manage these kinds of virtualized services which, which come with lots of managing overhead, but of course uh, in the long term are much more flexible in terms of processing power and capacities. What are you showcasing here currently at IBC? So we are, of course, focusing on improving uh, our Flex AI system. So we had some major new software improvements introduced uh, for, for Flex AI. For example, for our MPEG 8 3D audio uh, tool set, we have migrated to Flex AI. So you can now use Flex AI for channel-based uh, processing approaches as well as object-based audio processing in parallel without uh, having to decide for each or the other solution. So you can easily migrate from a standard channel-based uh, program output to an object-based new format like uh, MPEG H 3D audio for example or for AC4 in the future because we are also working on solutions for SADM which makes um, staying uh, agnostic to the codec more easily throughout the entire chain. So we can have object-based audio without deciding for either of these codecs uh, up until the very end for the broadcast playout point. Also, we improved uh, our uh, approach on uh, managing large-scale system where you run different programs uh, that need to be independent but are parallelly running on one system. Um, so you can easily uh, manage just, uh, for example, uh, having um, operators just um, manage their program without interfering uh, with adjacent channels uh, within one Flex AI system. And also on the hardware side, we have some improvements for our uh, AXpressor hardware solution for Flex AI, which is a microphone card with four um, high quality, high dynamic range pristine audio inputs for um, yeah, any kind of microphone, so you get directly um, into your system from the microphone to our um, software-defined audio processing. Can you explain more about your latest developments and who you're targeting with these products? Right, so Flex AI is, a, as a software-defined platform, um, creating a virtual image of what our customers in the past uh, used to do with uh, stacked uh, devices in racks. So they have a certain workflow, they don't want to have this hardware-based system, they 
uh, want to use this as a more flexible system in a software-defined environment. And what we do is we provide channel scripts with certain functionalities that represents what the original boxes did in the past. So we have, for example, channel scripts for voice processing, for program processing, for loudness-based auto-mixing. And with this combination of tools, we can really um, create a, a complete tool set for applications like um, let me give you one example. Uh, we have a customer, or at least two uh, in the meantime, uh, where they have uh, for sports, I think it's football, uh, they create um, parallel mixes for uh, different games at the same time, for different language versions of the same uh, game, and they all create it by auto-mixing instances within FlexAI, so the audio engineer just interacts as a quality assurance engineer in the end, and does not have to mix everything manually on a, on a board, so you can have uh, a really high um, amount of parallel processes without uh, manual interference. This is um, something that we uh, installed in already two, um, customers in Europe. Um, also, the same concept, for example, can be used for providing news production, for uh, short clips, for advertisement, stuff like that. Everything that needs to be uh, done in high capacity, uh, where you do not have the human resources to handle all that uh, at the same time. Very nice. That's impressive. And can you tell me any bit about what we could expect in the near future from the company? Right, so we have some very exciting uh, developments in our pipeline currently, uh, which also open up our, our market reach to different uh, areas of application. For example, we are working on um, um, migrating some of our radio-based processing to the new platform. We also have some new tools for immersive sound processing, for personalized sound processing. So this is, uh, there's a lot going on. And we have some, we're very proud and excited uh, that we got some uh, brand new key customers that installed very big uh, installations of our platform inside of their infrastructure. The cool thing is with Telos Alliance as our global partner and also uh, our technology partner, we as a rather small company gained some big weight in the industry. So we feel really confident and the uh, feedback from uh, customers and potential customers on the IBC was fantastic so far. So we're really, really happy and we're, we're really confident we're on the right track with, with our ideas and developments. Absolutely, I'm excited to see what the future holds. Everyone who wants to know more information, please check out their website. Thank you so much for speaking with us.